Have you heard of the Oort Cloud? It sounds like something out of science fiction. A swirling veil of icy fragments drifting at the edge of everything we know. But it's not fiction. It's one of the most mysterious and distant parts of our solar system. And today we're going to journey there, billions of kilometers from the sun, to uncover the secrets of this cosmic frontier. Chapter 2. What's it made of? The Oort Cloud is thought to be home to trillions of icy objects, some as small as pebbles, others dozens of kilometers across. They're made of rock, dust, and frozen gases like water, ammonia, and methane. In fact, these are some of the oldest building blocks of the solar system, leftovers from the time when the planets were forming over 4.6 billion years ago. Back then, the solar system was a chaotic place. Newborn planets were carving out their orbits, and many icy planetesimals, tiny early building blocks, were being flung outwards by the gravitational forces of massive planets like Jupiter and Saturn. Most of these ejected objects ended up in interstellar space, but some slowed down just enough to remain gravitationally bound to the sun. They didn't fall back in. They didn't escape completely. They lingered at the very edge, forming what we now believe is the Oort Cloud. Chapter 3. Inner and Outer Oort Cloud Scientists think the Oort Cloud has two regions. The Inner Oort Cloud, also known as the Hills Cloud, starts around 2,000 astronomical units. It's denser, but still incredibly sparse by Earth standards. The Outer Oort Cloud extends out to perhaps 100,000 astronomical units. It's more diffuse, but it's this region that sends us most of the long-period comets. The objects here are so far apart that if you were standing on one, you might not see another with the naked eye. Space out here is incredibly vast, 